Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of my long range series that I'm doing. In this video I'm going to be looking at uh, setting up the parameters for GPS rescue. Now I'm going to level up with you here, this is actually the second time I've started uh, filming this uh, this video. I actually just spent two hours filming it, going, using the CLI to adjust all the parameters. And just as I finish, I've realised there's an, a simple way that will take about 30 seconds to do. So. Yeah, I'll show you how. Let's go. Right, so what you're going to want to do, obviously open beta flight and plug your quad in. I'm currently running beta flight 10.7.2. Once you're on, you want to enable expert mode, the little tab at the top there, and then you want to go to your failsafe tab. Now I've currently got this quad set up so when it failsafes it goes into GPS rescue. And as you can see there, all your parameters are on there. Now like I just said, I've just spent two hours filming another uh, a different video showing you how to alter all this through the CLI and what I've realised is you can just alter it here and it's done. So what I'll do now, we'll quickly go through some of the points on there just to tell you what they actually mean. And then uh, we'll alter them to what we want. And then we'll go from there. Well, if you look at the first in there, that's your maximum angle that your quad's going to come home to. And obviously, you don't want it too much, like 90 degrees, because your quad's going to be screaming real fast home to your killing battery. So I've currently got mine set at around 45. That's the maximum angle or it'll go at as it's coming back to you. Then your initial altitude, that's the the altitude that when you trigger trigger GPS rescue, your quad will actually ascend to that height before it comes home to you. Now, if you're in an area where you've actually gone above that height to get over an obstacle while you've been doing your flying, your quad will actually go to the highest you've flown during that fight flight. I'm going to leave mine at about 50 metres because where I plan to go and do this test with this, there's, there's nothing there, it's just an open field, so that should be fine. Next one there is your descent distance. Now, as your quad's coming back to you, once it gets a certain distance away, it'll actually start coming down. Now, beta flight rescue, uh, sorry, beta flight GPS rescue is not meant to land your quad. The idea is you lose video or you lose your control link and it's designed to turn your quad around and bring it back towards you until you regain your video or your uh, control link then you take over and either land or carry on flying wherever there is so i'm going to leave that setting as it is because really i'm not going to use it i'm not going to use beta flight to land the quad so we'll leave that your next one there is your ground speed in meters a second now I'm not sure what that is in miles per hour. It's currently set at 20 metres a second. I'll do a little Google phone now and uh, put it down here to tell you what that actually means. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Your next two are your throttle, throttle minimum and throttle maximum. Now, that's basically how fast your quad can go. You can set a lower, lower limit and a higher limit for your quad. You, know, you, you don't want your quad rattling away at full throttle all the time. Now, throttle hover, I'm not, I'm not going to use that. Because I'm not 100 percent sure where it actually is on this quad. I will have to I will work it out at some point and put it on, but for now I'm not gonna do it. Your ascend rate and your descend rate pretty much speak for the cell. That's when once the uh, rescue is triggered, your ascend rate's how fast your quad goes up, and your descend rate is when it's come, when it comes back to you and begins its descent, as we were on about earlier. That's how fast it'll come down. Your next one there's your minimum satellites. A beta flight needs a minimum of eight satellites to work properly. You can see there at the bottom, you can actually, a uh, little toggle there, that will allow you to take off without your satellites being connected. Now, if if you do do that, basically when you take off, you've got no GPS rescue. It won't come on regardless of whether you get your satellites afterwards or not. So I'm going to leave that, leave that off. I'm not, I'm not going to let it allow me to arm this quad unless I have enough satellites to control it and get it back. Uh, 
your altitude mode that's what I was on about earlier you can three settings there there's uh, they'll say when, when you trigger the rescue mode your quad will go to a, a predetermined height that you already set mine's 50 so the three settings on, on that little slider there are maximum maximum altitude that's basically the height the highest that quad has flown to on that particular flight since it's been armed so if you had to go over a tree as I previously said Beta Flight Rescue will actually go to the highest point and bring you on that way uh, your next one there is fixed altitude that is basically your setting at the top there like well, mine's currently set at 50 meters and your next one is current altitude so whatever height your quads at and you lose your lose your control link or set, uh, flicky switch for rescue it'll come on at that now you don't really want that because if you happen to be behind a building it'll just turn around come straight back and hit the building so I wouldn't say it that so what I'm going to do man, is maximum altitude right now that we've uh, gone through them all there I'll change a couple just to see what I'll, uh, I'll change my initial altitude to 55 meters I'll leave my angle as it is I'll put my descent distance to I'll put it to 100 meters like I say I'm not going to actually use this but I'll, I'll just put that on there so my quad won't start to descend towards me until it's 100 meters away so I'll leave it at that and uh, all the other settings there we'll just leave as it is for now and then we'll save and reboot and what you can do now just to make sure that all your things have actually changed if you go to the CLI you need to write is get GPS underscore rescue hit enter and you can see that brings up all your settings there you can see it's GPS rescue angle is 45 now we didn't change that and you can see there your GPS rescue initial altitude has actually changed to 55 because we changed our in the fail surface tab so that's pretty easy so there you go that's the uh, easy way to change some of the uh, GPS rescue settings like I say fail safe tab and all these settings are at the bottom there now what I'm going to do now is uh, show you how to uh, put G GPS rescue onto an actual AUX switch on your controller now I already filmed this when I was filming the CLI one before so if I happen to change shirt now it's because I'm going to use the footage I've already filmed so let's go to it right so what we're going to do now I'm going to show you how to connect uh, GPS rescue to an AUX switch on your Telemetry controller lost. that's Joshua Bardwell talking to me there I'll put a little video showing you how to put that sound pack on. I'll put a little link up there. So, first thing you're going to want to do is plug your quad in. Telemetry recovered. Because you need your receiver and that powered up. Then you want to go to your mods tab. And you uh, want to find GPS rescue. Oh, there's mine there. I've got that set on AUX 4. So all there is now, you, you click on, just say, I'll delete that there, just say you didn't have it on. What you'd need to do was go to uh, unhide the unused tabs. You need to find GPS rescue and click add range. And then I want mine on AUX4, so I'd select AUX4 there. And I'll flick my switch. And you can see the little sliders moving backwards and forwards there. Once you've done that, that's basically it. Click save, and that's it. Now you've uh, GPS Return rescue to home. is now set on the switch. Return to home. Simple as that. Well, there you go. That's how to uh, change the parameters of GPS rescue and how to set it up on an arc switch on your controller. Thanks for watching. If you uh, found this video useful or interesting, please think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. I'll put a few uh, links to some GPS gear in the uh, video description. Now the links I'll put in there will be affiliate links. That means you, do, you click the link, you do your shopping. Don't have to buy GPS gear, you can buy anything. 
uh, check out I'll get a little commission it's a great way to support the channel it doesn't cost you a penny and if you feel like joining my patreon there's a link to the uh, link to that in the video description as well for as little as three pound a month it really helps the channel out allows me to make a lot more of these videos so anyway thanks for watching we'll see you in part three